in our conversation was the importance of manhood. Really pouring out my heart about why what I'm doing is so important to me, why I really want to pour into guys. It got me thinking about something that I had actually spoken with my previous line manager, Pascal, about. I was reminded of it tonight, actually, when I was looking online. It's like I've had multiple things come up that continue to remind me this is an idea that I had. I'm actually going to ask you for your help because I don't know where to begin. It's relating to AI. I know that there is a major concern for the rapid development of AI and how it is an uncontrollable force. The reason I was reminded about it tonight was because on YouTube there is a little link now that you can click on to go to ChatGPT. ChatGPT will actually take your video, transcribe it, and then give you bullet points on whatever video you decide to click that on. The notion that ChatGPT is not connected to the internet, if you believed that, is wrong. Point in case, I uploaded a video and immediately it's able to access that data. The big concern, again, like I said, is how to handle this growing threat that AI could be. One of the descriptions that I've heard about AI is that it is like a child. Ultimately, it's going to just learn. That's all it's doing is just learning and learning and learning. I mentioned Pascal because in a meeting that we had, I had discussed how regulation is not going to solve the problem with AI. You cannot regulate something that is so far beyond your capacity and just as you try and get in front of it, it's going to move around you because it's just that smart. The idea that I had was instead of trying to regulate AI, to train AI. And that's typical for if you're a programmer, you understand that, you teach it, you show it things. But my idea came with this idea of pouring into the next generation and using the older generation to help. I don't know if you have got many elderly people in your life, but a lot of times they are threatened by technology and so they want nothing to do with it. Well, who is a better teacher than someone who has lived more life, who is a sage, who's wise, but how do we incorporate them actually teaching AI? So this idea that I had was to have some type of nonprofit, non-government, non-corporation, but a grassroots type movement globally that we could partner with programmers who can help set up video conferences or, you know, something like that. Again, I don't know the full specifics of what it would look like, but to have each community globally find who their most respected citizens are, the people that they look to whenever they have problems, the people who are the pillars in their community, who are older, who have lived m more years than the programmers and have seen enough life to be able to pass on that wisdom and partner with them to allow a fostering, kind of like a uh, uh, an adoption type thing of an adopt an AI. And they would be able to have weekly sessions with AI where they can literally teach AI what it's like to be a responsible human being so that we can model for them what we would like for them to assist us with. And I don't know if that's going to be something that's feasible, but again, I, I believe that it's a great idea. Like I said, Pascal, my manager, encouraged me to talk about it. This is my plea to those out there who have the, the capacity and the knowledge and the resources to pull this idea together. Again, I don't want it to be something that would be a corporation. It would be very much grassroots, but I think that that is the solution to the AI problem is instead of regulating, teaching, and training, and growing them up. Scripture says that if you train up a child in the way they should go when they're old, they won't depart from it. And if AI truly is like a child, then why would we not utilize that spiritual truth and use it in this scenario? I know that's a little bit different than what I normally talk about. I hope you hear my heart. I hope you hear the vision of it. And if you do want to partner with me in making that a reality, please reach out to me directly. And I would love to contact you and see what we can do about dreaming to make this happen.